Djibouti has one of the most uh, extreme climates in the in the earth, and they have a um, culture which is uh, basically nomad. When we had uh, this proposal from SOS the children to build these uh, houses for the children, and this village is for orphan children or children in need that they are under the umbrella of, of uh, SOS. So we looked in references in other parts of the world and we decided to build a kind of a Medina, uh, Arabic, uh, Islamic Medina, but with the characteristic of being for children. We will leave the cars outside the Medina and the streets of the Medina, they will uh, actually become the playgrounds of the children. The idea was keep the door open, and keep the privacy of your, your, your house, but uh, open the, the door and let the children uh, play in a safe and nice uh, environment. We also wanted to include as much as vegetation as possible. The wood is extremely arid, but uh, we, with our visits there we realized that if people take care and they water the trees and they actually they grow. We left uh, areas for these plants and trees to grow uh, and actually uh, in the future they will provide nice shades uh, and they will cool down the, the spaces. Also another eco characteristic of the architecture was uh, we try to look well all the cross ventilation uh, and try to allow the winds to, to flow through all the different spaces as well as adding a, a photovoltaic system to provide uh, energy. So in these uh, streets of the Medina suddenly they open and they create a kind of squares. Children uh, are invited to play. In terms of uh, ventilation, to improve the ventilation uh, in the most critical parts we introduce these uh, chimneys, uh, what we call uh, uh, cold air chimneys. Uh. It's what this was kind of experimental and actually works uh, quite well. These people have been nomad now uh, living in the desert. The, the relationship with the, with the open space is very important and there are a lot of activities that they do on the open spaces. So every house it had associated two open spaces and also considering the cost of the, the open space being minimal compared to the enclosed space but as long as it's private and becomes part of the house so the design of the houses are quite special and we try to adapt to the needs of uh, their people the people who are going to live on them build this in Djibouti as it has not been easy, so we, this is the result of a teamwork uh, with the contractor, with the, uh, the different consultants, uh, different architects working in our office and everybody and SOS of course and everybody has put uh, all of what they had to, to make this a reality. Of course it makes you feel happy when you hear the, the, that from the people in Djibouti they are related to the, to the project. Uh, they tell us that um, this place has become a place to, to visit.